here together. Ray, yo, good afternoon and welcome to Sensei's Backyard Dojo. I'm Sensei Michael. Um, today I thought we would go through our Blue Belt Kata, our Dasaku Kyoda, you know, the Kata um, partner, um, to show you some, some uh, opponent and partner drill. I trust that you are well. I hope that you have warmed up and stretched up. I know I have. Um, but before we begin, a short bedtime story. Many, many, many years ago, we used to train with hoods and masks, and then for reasons that are quite frankly beyond the scope of this video to explain, we stopped. Um, anyways, now with COVID, we're all training with, we've got our masks, so let's get masked up. If you're training with, uh, with a training partner, put your mask on. I wonder if we will continue to wear masks after this is all done. So, Akata, as you know, is Dasaku Kyoto and Nakata, and here to help me is Shodan Hojiro. Hello. Okay, we're going to go through this opponent by opponent. Um, there are a lot of combinations within this kata um, that are they're really good combinations for training with. Not all of them work in succession with each other. Uh, and so what we're going to do is we're going to do it the way that it is presented in the kata uh, for each, each um, technique and then we're going to play with it and see what we can come up with. So our first movement of the kata is we step into a 45 degree horse riding stance with an inner block off the back hand. We then grab four finger spear, knife hand, vertical four finger spear, ridge hand, flip our hand around, tuck under, step in, Pull in, step back, around, notice the hip rotation, down, up, and in. That's a lot. Let's go through it though. Jared, please. We'll go on the angle here. So rather than stepping here on the angle, I'm actually going to be stepping straight towards the camera. But so we're going to begin with a right hand punch. So we're going to step angled past it, in a block, grab, throat. So I'm using my, my fingertips into the soft area, boom. Then I'm going to come around and go, knife hand strike to the temple, bang. And then again, not into the, the hard area, but into the soft area, just below the sternum, sternum four fingered spear, boom, into there. All of this is to soften him up, so that when I come in for my rich hand, whack up underneath there. Can I hit you, Jared? Can I okay. I want you to, can you watch what happens to his legs? And he lifts up. This whole thing has weakened his whole body so that when I grab, I'm grabbing the back of his shoulder blade and tucking this around behind. As I step backwards and pull, he comes with me. I pull him into my spear and turn my body. Just move away, Joe. And I throw him over. We're not going to do the throw because we're not on mats, but also in the course of doing this throw, because of everything that we've done, um, there's a very good chance of damaging the shoulder. At the end of the day, this is a martial art. So, one more time, Jared, please. So here comes the thing, we're gonna go block, grab, throat, head, sternum, armpit, and I'm grabbing hold of his shoulder blades as I pull him in, bending his arm behind his body to weaken him, stepping back, around, down, throat. I would be I would be creating lots of momentum with that round movement. You want to go, Jared? Sure. We'll do it this way. So, block, grab, throw. Uh, owie. Boom. Oh. Pull in. Over. And I would roll. From this direction, Jared. Block. Grab throat, temple, sternum, armpit, and throw. Try left hand. Block, throat, temple, sternum, arm. Pull in. And off, off the off the deck he goes. That's ah! movement <laughs> number one. Pretty simple. Let's see if we can play with it a bit. Here comes a punch. Boom! That by itself will be enough. 
I could do my rich hand there. I could do my, my knife hand up underneath there. I could do my, rather than going um, straight up and down, I could go downwards knife hand down into the groin. Um, I could just go straight into my rich hand. Bang! And bring it across, lift up a knee. Yeah. What do you reckon? Oh, could I go straight? Oh. <laughs> that one's always fun. Yes, it is. Be careful not to hurt your training partner, though. That's good. Thank you. Want to drop down? Just keep up. Just do lots of different shots around the body. And then back to the classic ending. The point is, is that you can use the techniques on many different targets and you can move them around, play around with them. Remembering that kata is scaffolding. And once you're, you're happy with the scaffold, you can play around within it. Our next technique is boom, boom, boom. One, two, three. What is this? Okay, double-handed grab, lapel, you're shaking me. Ah. Ah. And I'm going to go one, two, three. Well, the other way, so you can see. One, two, three. Or even go on this angle here. One, two, three. Okay. So there's a few things happening. It's come from the side again. So. Whichever hand you're, you're going to go up with, it comes across your body. Let's go for a second. It comes, if it's your right hand, it comes across and up. If it's your left hand, it comes across and up. It doesn't matter which way you go. It does matter which way you go. There will be benefits to going to a particular direction depending on what's happening with your opponent's feet. But in the, in the realm of combat, that's a lot of things to think about. At the end of the day, just hit them. You need to speak a little louder. Mm. One... Notice how my strike, I've actually lifted it off. This is how I'm off. My hand comes up over the top and it's going to snake down between the two. I'm actually going to bring this hand with it. So that both of my hands go through. And I've got his hand down here. So I've got this sort of this mess of arms. And then as I lift this up, that puts a little bit, that weakens his grip on my other lapel. And I bring that one up and I grab. Now his arms are twisted. And as I turn, the bend of this one reinforces the straightness of this elbow and puts me into a really cool wrist uh, elbow lock. That's fun, isn't it, Derek? You enjoy yeah, that? not really. Okay. <laughs> oh, so here's the grab. One up. Up. Um, down. And around. And there we have it. It's a bit of fun, isn't it? really important with your training partner to be gentle with this because this has tremendous potential to hyperextend elbows which is never fun. Oh. Yeah, that's yeah. it. Make it work. Always make it work. Good, good, good. <laughs> we can use this technique not just as a double-handed grab though. What if a one-handed grab? So there it is. Boom, boom. There's the same technique and now I've got him in a nice figure four arm lock. So what I did there, he grabbed so with the, with the opposite hand. So he's grabbing with my right. I'm going to use my right. Up, over the top, down. And there's my arm lock. Bang. How about you, Jared? What are you going to do? Uh, oh. Oh, nice. Set up for other stuff. Yeah, absolutely. It sets up for lots of things. coming for a punch. There it is there. Oh, nice. Same techniques, doing different things. Our next technique is 
my bad. It's right here. That's where we are, yeah. Oh, that's the other thing too. One, two, three. Doesn't have to be a grab or a throw. Again, one, two, three. I'm punching into the soft and into the hard tissue. One is central, one is offside. It could be there and there. It could be there and there. It could be dropping there. It could be all kinds of fun things. One, two, three. So just because it has a lock in it doesn't mean it's a lock. It can also be a strike. Anyways, moving on. Our next technique, we're here. One, two, three, four, five. So, from here. So I'm going to come over the top and capture his arm and kick it. Boom. The hand that is on the same side, the parallel, this hand keeps hold. This one goes into the back of the elbow and lifts. As I turn, I lift the elbow. There's a nice little lock there. Yep. And now I'm going to follow up with my kick. Whack. Same one. Boom, boom, boom. There's, there's my nice lock there. Pull it back around. I could just, rather than doing crescent kick, I just do a round kick. All kinds of fun things. See how that first kick, just go back up again. Yep. So I grabbed him, right? I'm going to hit him, right? But he does that, he catches to holding me here. And then that first kick takes away all my momentum. See how, what it does to my body. And I'm flying this way, right? because of the momentum, and now I reach back the other way, wow, and I'm probably gonna fall there if my elbow doesn't separate from my body. Nice. No, you didn't get it, you didn't get it, didn't get it. Lift the elbow, lift yeah. the elbow, that's lift the way. It. Now bring that around, bring this around. And I bring it around, bring it around, try and punch me in the face with my oh, hand. Whack, and then bring it around that way. There we go. Oh. You can even land a nice knee in there rather than a kick. Oh, yeah. That's the one. And just bring your knee in. Oh. Wouldn't that be fun? Our next technique is from a headlock. Coming around from behind. No, it's all right. No, it's not. No, it's not. I missed one. Ha! <laughs> So, right hand punch. We're gonna go one, two, three, bare claw into the neck, bang into the back of the knee, and drop it. Okay, so same block, same blocking technique as the first, as the very first technique. In, so we step on a 45 degree horse running stance, grab the arm, and this time's gonna be a knife hand strike to my shoulder, up, fingers up, which turns the body. Then you push with the other hand, and all of a sudden we're like, hang on, how do I get to this direction? Whoa, I'm falling. Okay? It's kind of nice. It's a nice little redirect. The punch comes. The punch comes. <laughs> Wrong block. Could have made it work. Punch comes. Now see that? I've got my block here. I've hit there, which has already put a little bit of a curve into his spine. And I'm going to throw this down and through, bringing him up. Punch comes, step in, block, bang, down and through, bring him up, down and through. Which throws you through, it throws you around. Two, three. Remembering that we're doing upper and lower. We're doing all kinds of stuff up here, but we throw in the instep kick just to go because okay. I've blocked and I've punched and I've brought him around, right? But now he can struggle a bit against me because he's 
you know, he's trying to use my arms, you know, he can do all kinds of things. So what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to distract him a bit. It doesn't matter which of the legs you hit, hit one of them, it doesn't matter. Okay. Whoa. Mm. Notice how, even before he's done the kick, because he's done that first hit and that first throw around underneath really well, look at my compromised position. I have no balance, I'm holding on for dear life because nobody wants to fall. <laughs> All right? One, two. Why not? <laughs> now the headlock. So, we need to be standing, or we'll start with a standing position. I've just dealt with this guy, boom, like that, and he puts me in a headlock. Ah. So the first thing you wanna do is turn your head to protect your neck. Pr protect your throat by grabbing onto the hand. Through, out, and I've already got a nice little arm bar here. What I'm gonna do differently from what I've done in the past, though, is I'm gonna crush his shoulder with my knee. The back one. It's already set up and I'm gonna go, boom! But it doesn't have to be the shoulder. I can just go in the back of his knee. Bang! I can go in the back of his thigh. Bang! Yeah, that was fun, wasn't it? Yeah. I could step through and go into his, I could lift this oh. and go into his face. Bang! But for the sake of the, of the car, we're gonna go bang into the shoulder which drops them forward, and as they're falling, we just, we then keep hold the arm, we just turn, and over they go. Let's go this direction. Mm -hmm. So, protect, through, push, bang, around, watch the killer there, around and down. So, it's with your legs that you're throwing. Good. Yeah. Make it work. Oh, oh. He made it work. Now, just jump off for a second. In a perfect world, you'll feel a headlock going on and you'll get out of it before it's locked on. In a perfect world. Oh, it's cheating. <laughs> well, yes, I knew it was coming. Let's face it, I knew it was coming. All right, let's try again. Escape from a full Nelson. Do you know what a full Nelson is? Lots of people don't know what a full Nelson is. This is a full Nelson. I don't know where it gets its name from. Um, I've never bothered to look it up, but this is a full Nelson. He's gone up underneath and he's linked his fingers together behind behind my head and it's made it so that I can't really do much. I mean I could I could I could groin him, um, I could I could just drop, I guess, but you know, there's, there's, there's limits in what you can do. It's, you don't want to get into this position. The whole point of this next exercise is not to get into this position. I wonder if I can get out of it. <laughs> hmm. I'm thinking about something. May or may not work. Bang. Ooh. <laughs> Excellent. Um, but anyways, we want to not get into the position in the first place. So we feel it coming on. Stop there. We feel it coming on, and we're going to go bang like that. So we're not going to allow them to get the technique on. Okay. So start again. Mm -hmm. 
So I'm just gripping. And I'm holding their forearm. I reach it against my ribcage. I'm going to reach across, grab his hand, and pretend that it's a motorcycle accelerator. Ring! Watch his body. Ring! Ring, ring, ring! <laughs> Uh. <laughs> okay, Ring. now I'm going to bring this arm up, tap him opposite shoulder, step around, step through, and I'm going to do a nice knife hand strike right through his jaw. <laughs> With a key eye, of course. So, down, snap. I'm sure you do. Yeah. So through, around. Oh, didn't get there. <laughs> oh, thank yeah, you. One, no, no, yeah, that's right. All right. Snap. Ah. Oh, yeah. You can't see with your masks on. Have your arm for a second. <laughs> what you're actually trying to do with this, I mean, it hurts. It's really nasty. You're actually trying to get them to open their mouth. What? It hurts. You're trying to get them to go, ow, ow. Because this strike to your jaw, if the mouth is slightly open, has a much better result than if the if the if the teeth are clenched. Bang. So that's that's kind of where we're going with that. Oh, I nearly got you too. Oh, but not quite. <laughs> Did you see how my body tilted when he put the, the wrist lock on just there? Let's do it again, nice and slow. Well, I'll Okay, now watch my body. No, you have, you're, not, you're not gripping my, my arm with your forearm. Ah, there we go. Ah, you see how I'm, my balance is now compromised already. Ah. Nice. Our next technique. Up. Bang. A little shuffle. Cat's paw stance. Out again. Up into cat's paw stance. Double hand grab. Up. The cat's ball stance is the up. So let's go nice and slow. For the, slow for the camera. Up. Opening up. Stepping in. And boom. You're aiming for just on top of the collarbone. Up. Down. I'm using my body's forward momentum and my legs to do that really nice snap. Of a knife hand strike. Up, down. Have a feel into the top of your pectoral muscle, just mm. below your just below your your collarbone. There's the pectoral muscle. This, the top of the pectoral muscle, not the front of it, but the top of it, is where you're trying to hit. The collarbone is a good target, but a broken collarbone is evidence. Think about it. <laughs> so. You grab. You grab. Up. Now, watch this. Up. Fingertips. Just a little hit in there is kind of, kind of a bit rude. Good. Uh. Uh. <laughs> yeah, that's good. That's good. All right. Grab. Oh, no. One. So our next technique, whichever foot is forward, bring that hand up. You need to bring it past the head if you want. Bang! Step behind. Four finger spear into the stomach. Boom. Palm hand strike with the other one. Straight up under the chin. Notice I'm still in my juji dash, my cross stance. I'm going to unfurl. Elbow to the back of the head. And then I'm going to step behind him with my elbow still in place, and do a knife hand strike to the other side of there. So I've unfurled, bang there, stepped around, bang there. Nice? Nice. Alrighty, so, let's go this side. Um, you just hit me. Oh. So, right. 
or jaw or even. Sternum, sternum. Ooh. Palm out of the face. Up, on, on five. Bang, step. Bang. Oh. <laughs> Bit of fun. Let's do it again. See how one technique sets up the next one. So we're, we're here, there, 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 there. Yeah, yeah. No. Ah, la 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 la. Boom. 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 Our next technique is a double spin kick. One high, one low. One's called a a a soto, you know, a soto mikazuki and the other one is called a dragon style kick. Yeehaw. Spinning in a crescent, followed out a crescent, followed by not in a crescent, followed by a dragon style. You're gonna duck the first one, and then get up and laugh at me. Ha -ha! Again, we're not on mats and we don't really want to hurt each other, so we're not doing these fast. Um, let's pretend that the first one actually connects. So, whack. Hmm. Now it's my turn to laugh. Uh -huh. <laughs> so. Nice, that was a really nice uh, wind up you did then. That was pretty good. <laughs> Try the other side. Oh, that's pretty good. Very good. This is a great little exercise for you to do with your training partner. Duck. Dodge. Don't do that. <laughs> no. <laughs> now, that was great. That was a great technique and it was a really good technique for him. But if I had it connected when he was off the ground, he would have flipped. And if he had landed on my foot, I would, he would have broken it but my leg in several places. Um, but, yeah, try again. Hey, do you want to see a really good, uh, a really good um, counter for this? Nice and slow. Oh. Step in to the knee. <laughs> <laughs> Try the spin kick, really slow. Oh. I should have seen that one coming. <laughs> the back of the knee. If you ever see somebody, you can't do this in tournament, you shouldn't do it while sparring, but if some joker comes up to you in the street and is like, <laughs> go for the back of their knee that they're still standing on. Excellent. Okay. We're here. Uh, we're here. Stand. And I'm going to stand because I'm standing. He's going to come, he's going to grab me, and he's going to punch me in the head. At least that's what he thinks he's going to do. Okay? So he's grabbed me, and I'm going to go, and I'm going to step backwards. And as I step, see how I pulled him? I'm going to push his head away, straightening up this lovely piece of real estate right here. <laughs> Hammer fist, bang which my elbow is now set up for his face. Bang! Which I'm now going to grab the hand that I've already captured and twist the exact opposite direction. His body's going that way, right? Now I'm going to go that way. Take him down. Gr grind his head into the ground. So. Hit him. <coughs> oh! Now. Bang! Down, cross, back the other way. The twist. Yeah. Yeah. Hi! <laughs> Whichever hand you grab with, that's the foot you step back with. So I'm grabbing with my right hand here. So I'm going to step back with my right foot, pulling him into me. As I step back, 
my opposite hand's going to come up and meet his face. Let's go nice and slowly so you can see the glory of um, meeting momentum. Can you see how, because I'm using this hand as my blocking hand, it's over the foot that isn't moving. It creates a solid wall. Boom. 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 And then you can stretch. That's rude. I know, right? <laughs> now here's, here comes, I'm actually going to go with the punch this time. Let's see if he can stop me. Let's try that again. Here comes the grab. Mm -hmm. yeah. Fun, fun. Fun side. So I'm falling, and now I'm going to reach the other way. And I'm going to say, hello to the wall! Ah! Woof! <sighs> fun? Bit of fun. Ah! This doesn't have to be just, you know, hey, talk to the hand. This can be a strike. Bang! Ooh. Whack. With this strike here, watch what happens to his body. I'm just going to press down. His body comes in close. The whole time his hand remains where I have grabbed it. I'm using my body as the fulcrum. Ah, that's the whole carter. What do you think? Was it a bit of fun? Um, do you have fun? Are you okay? Yep. Excellent. Lots of fun. Very much okay. Very, very cool. Right, so. Dasaku Kyoto no Kata, which means maybe next time. <laughs> Alrighty. <laughs> I hope you are well. Um, I hope that everything is going okay with you. I hope that you're not too bored with all of the um, all the restrictions on us. But you know, it's for a for a good cause, and hopefully we'll all get through this sooner rather than later. I want to leave you with some words of wisdom, and they are strength is nothing without knowledge, but knowledge is nothing without strength. Contemplate this. It is not enough for you to be strong if you don't know how to use that strength. It's not enough for you to be knowledgeable if you have no agency, no strength to back your knowledge up with. So the true warrior has many strings to their bow. The true warrior knows a little about everything and everything about a little. The true warrior tries to round themselves out in many areas. So, improve your strength, but also improve your knowledge. I recommend reading. Um, that's all I've got for you today. I look forward to seeing you next time on Sensei's Backyard Dojo. Feet together, ready, go. Thank you very much, I hope. Thank you.